Right, okay, so this is what happens in, uh, in fusion reactions, and, and this is why it happens. Okay, uh, first of all, imagine that I've got two small uh, protons here. Uh, I'm just going to weigh one on its own. Um, so that's uh, 0.78. Okay, I'm going to take that off, reset to zero. Let's weigh the other one. And that's about the same, 0.73. Uh, so if we have them both together, we should expect that the weight of them should be the weight of this and the weight of that. And that's exactly what we get. Now, when nuclei fuse together, um, they do so in the same way that I've just fused these protons, these blue tack protons together. And it would be perfectly natural to expect that they would weigh what they weigh on their own added together. But that's not what happens. This is less than they weigh on their own. And what's happened in nature, um, you'll probably easily be able to understand. I've just tiny, I've, I've taken a tiny bit off one of them to make the point here. Um, but in nature, a tiny bit of the mass goes missing. But it doesn't disappear into nothing. Uh, it actually gets completely changed into a big flash of heat. And in fact, it's this tiny little bit of mass which goes missing, um, which provides all of the energy in fusion reactions. And it's a good job that this happens, because otherwise our star, uh, the sun, wouldn't be able to shine and, and we wouldn't be able to live. But what happens in fusion reactions is they get together, a little bit of the mass goes missing and gets converted with E equals mc squared into a bit of energy. Well, quite a lot of energy.